statements statements so the statements in uh, C++ um, are formed by uh, generally speaking a semicolon you have an expression uh, and then you can use a semicolon and it makes it a complete statement and complete statement can be compiled can is like a complete form or part of computation but there are different kinds of statements in C++. Every time a new variable is introduced into the scope, it's called a declaration statement. So declaration of a variable or creation of the variable is a statement. And uh, uh, technically speaking, each statement requires computational effort on the CPU uh, to, to complete it. Likewise, this is also a uh, declaration statement because brand new variable copy counter is created so these are declarations expressions with semicolons is just like this right so if, if we used uh, over here uh, our sample uh, count equals count plus one it's just a little formula that we employ and uh, of course uh, we know what to expect but adding a semicolon here makes it a complete statement uh, likewise if i use this statement plus plus count you see it's it's very tiny right we just take the variable we increment it because we that's what we want to do but to to, to finish the whole part of this little action we have to add a, a semicolon uh, by the way, semicolon is not the limiter between different statements. Semicolon is part of the statement. But in addition to this, the, the, there are control statements, uh, like this if, else that we already saw. If, else branching we already discussed, and so let's just say uh, the following. Just, just to show you, um, let me just go forward with the next version of our main uh, because we, I keep those little tiny examples. So this was version two, whatever we we do uh, here and now. Another demo. By the way, these functions, which I continue to keep without deleting them, uh, they're never invoked, right? Nobody, like in this program right now, nobody calls main2, uh, right? Uh, it just sits here, but nobody calls it. Uh, so this is, generally speaking, it's called dead code. A lot of uh, uh, source code has a bunch of code that is never invoked. So it's a dead code, never, never gets invoked. But uh, nevertheless, maybe tomorrow we'll start calling these, fun uh, these functions again, so they're no, no longer be a dead code. But in general, just probably if we don't need this, it should be removed from here. Okay. So uh, if else, I can say, um, all right, um, um, integer count equals zero. Right? And then I can say if count is greater than zero, then uh, do something like um, this is a positive value, right? Something like this. <clears throat> so I check the value here, say, oh, it's greater than zero, so I can safely uh, state that this is a positive value. So this is an if statement, and uh, just a note on uh, syntax which is available. Uh, because we're talking about statements, uh, if I take this um, um, curly brace to the next line and I highlight this, so see how, for instance, I can here I can type of, uh, this multiple times. I can print this four times. And uh, when 
generally speaking, when we have these curly braces or brackets that are grouping multiple statements, this together is generally speaking called a compound statement, right? So using these things, opening and closing brace, generally groups together statements. And uh, together, you know, these are compound, uh, this, uh, altogether this is a compound statement. And if evaluates the condition right here, right? And then it says, give me the following statement and I will execute it conditionally, right? If condition is true, it will execute. If condition is not true, it will never execute like this, right? So it will be completely ignored, never execute. So let me just bring back my style because I prefer to put this brace on the same line as an if statement. That that's the way I, I write my if statements in general. Um, and uh, let me just get rid of this temporarily and go back to the original form. It is also possible to write it like this. Without uh, the braces, right, I can say, okay, this is a control structure, it's an if statement, it evaluates this condition, everything right, and then uh, this is the statement that it should execute if condition is true. Let me build this and see if I can, oh, there's something, um, yeah, I, again, I forgot the semicolon, sorry. <laughs> okay, build again. Uh, somewhere down here, minutes for some reason are undeclared, so I, maybe I meant to use time over here. Uh, okay. Okay, so now it builds fine. Let's run it. It's trivial. It says uh, uh, press any key to exit and it never prints it because counter is zero. Of course, it's not greater than zero. Fine, right? So it doesn't print anything. Uh, but if by mistake I've used this, uh, you know, thinking about uh, if uh, logic, now I'm thinking that, you know, I can perhaps instead of printing it once, I want to print it four times like this, right? And uh, if I run it, it prints count as positive three times. Right. Uh, so why is this happening? Because uh, so so the 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 output here looks like this, and I show it because my recording is not capturing another uh, Windows outside of Visual Studio. So this is my output. I can repeat it here. <clears throat> All right. So what happens is that the condition is evaluated, and then this statement is evaluated or not based on the outcome of this condition, true or false. But then this is simply the next statement. And the fact that I indented it like this, it doesn't mean that it actually belongs to this if construct. So just remember, if uh, even when you, in, in, my, in my practice, even though I have a single statement with my if, it, although it's possible to write it like this and it works with this single statement, I prefer to use the curly braces like this uh, all the time uh, with all my if statements. It's just my style. I never ignore them even though what I do with if statement is just a short thing. In case if sometimes I want to keep it, uh, it's something uh, very small, I don't know, sometimes it's just... Um, in other situations, sometimes it's convenient to, to not to use these um, uh, braces. Then what I do, I always put it on the same line so that I basically view this if statements and uh, I look at it and, and, I, and I remind myself, okay, this condition is only for this single statement. Everything else is unrelated. So I'll, uh, that's just my advice on, you know, just uh, remember how it uh, is uh, written uh, sometimes and uh, you can rely on it. So anyhow, if I have, uh, um, of course, uh, uh, if I have multiple statements, then of course I go back to, and for the most part, I would say just like keep using the braces, even with the sim simplest, uh, uh, simplest uh, 
uh, simplest forms of if. Always use these curly braces. It's my advice. And just recall that everything inside the braces is called compound statement.